Hello guys, for quite a while I haven't updated my live wire kit set of components and today I want to present the new 34th component which is, if we scroll down, link preview meta I called it. It's basically auto filling some data based on some link. For example, if you want to save some bookmark or something related to URL. And the inspiration came from a comment on my YouTube video on another video. This is a request from Inside Campus TV, embed link tutorial with Livewire. So here's how it works. Some form where you would have link and then title and the title would be automatically populated from the actual URL from its meta title in the SEO tags in the head title. So for example, if I paste the link to my yearly membership courses, for example, there's a HTTP request that comes with the results of title automatically populated and then description and then meta image from OG image meta tags. So this is how it works. Now what's inside the code? So here's my demo project in Laravel and in the blade we have live wire bookmark. So the whole form is one live wire component. The blade is Tailwind Blade because in my live wire kit all the components are both Tailwind and Bootstrap. So two versions of that. That's why it's called Tailwind.Blade. And then inside of that live wire bookmark the component itself looks like this. So there are properties for link and title and all the others. Then message is error message if it is needed. The render method which is the main in live wire just gets the latest bookmarks and shows the bookmark blade which is this one bookmark blade. So there's a form and then under the form there's a table of existing bookmarks. Now in the form form is wire submit prevent store bookmark to actually submit the bookmark and then the fields wire model debounds this is probably the main thing that you need to watch for so wire model link whenever the link is changed then it fires http request with this you can experiment with debounce or for example wire model lazy would trigger the event only when the input is outside so when you leave the field for example and then in the method of livewire component called updated link, it's automatically fired on updated name. So our name is link, so this will be fired. Validate only link, which is using the validation rules from array of the component, and then try to get the data with just HTTP get. If we have something, so the status is 200, then we parse the title, meta, OG image, and meta description with just regular expression and preg match. You can do something with DOM manipulation here, that's up to you, there are various ways how to parse that. And then, if it's all okay, we reset the message, which is error message, it should be empty. But if something goes wrong, so catch connection exception or something, then we reset the title, image and description to the empty ones, and message could not get linked data, and the message is visible under the form here. So that's basically it, a component to show how to fire external HTTP GET, on change of the input and then fill in the data with whatever comes from that HTTP. As I told you, it's the component number 34, so you can browse all the others. If you don't have those components yet, it's on mylivewirekit.com. The price for those components is $29 for all of them, one-time purchase. It's not a recurring revenue or recurring price. And if you have any ideas for new components or if you struggle with something around Livewire, shoot in the comments below because I kind of miss Livewire and I'm planning a lot more content around Livewire in 2022 or maybe even in December. So any ideas are welcome. What are you struggling with related to Livewire? Let me know and see you guys in other videos.